بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده ولي الصالحين وأشهد أن سيدنا محمد عبده ورسوله وصفيه وحبيبه وبعد Dear respected brothers and sisters Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us the chance to pray Salatul Isha in Jama'ah which is a great blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala great favor from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as Sayyidina Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said whoever prays Isha in Jama'ah and Fajr in Jama'ah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give him or her the reward as if he or she were playing the whole night so we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept our Isha and inshallah to help us to come up for Fajr inshallah bi Continuing our reminder, we started talking about how to get our sins forgiven and how to make it to Jannah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our road to Jannah, to Maghfirah, to Rahmah. And we counted a few things that we should do. First, Tawheedullah. Second, Tawbah. We come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala quite often. Third, al-istighfar, to make lots of istighfar, to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgiveness. And then also we talked about the dua of the believers. If the believers make dua for you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept their dua. And we talked about al-a'mal as-saliha. The good deeds is our also route and our means to maghfirah and rahmah and jannatullah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Tonight, we have another way, another road that may take us to jannatullah subhanahu wa ta'ala and maghfiratullah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is al-masaibu allati taqa' bil mu'min. Tests and difficulties that befall the believer. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as we know, he created us to worship him subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَمَا خَلَقَتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ I did not create jinn and mankind except to worship me. So while we worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, try to be on the surat al-mustaqim, then our way we will find difficulties, calamities, adversities. We lose some of our loved ones. We lose some of our wealth or our health. These calamities are ways for us to go to Jannatullah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alif lam mim, ahasib al-nas an yutraku an yakulu amanna wa hum la yuftanun, wa laqad fatanna al-lazina min qablihim, fala ya'lamanna allahu al-lazina sadaqu, wa la ya'lamanna al-kathibin. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, did the believers think that they will say, la ilaha illa Allah, Muhammad Rasulullah, and they will not be tested? We have tested the people before them to know who is truthful and who is not. So the test, when it comes, it will take out from us the real Muslim or the real mu'min. If we are really believers, then the time will come of the calamity. We say, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alami. We don't complain. But if our iman is weak and shaky, then anything happens to us, we go back and we blame ourselves and blame Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa al billah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says, وَلَنَبْلُوَنَّكُمْ بِشَيْءٍ مِّنَ الْخَوْفِ وَالْجُوعِ وَنَقَصٍ مِّنَ الْأَمْوَالِ وَالْأَنفُسِ وَالثَّمَرَاتِ وَبَشِّرِ الصَّابِرِينَ الَّذِينَ إِذَا أَصَابَتْهُمْ مُصِيبَةٌ قَالُوا إِنَّا لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّا إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ أُولَئِكَ عَلَيْهِمْ صَلَوَاتٌ مِّن رَبِّهِمْ وَرَحْمَةٌ وَأُولَئِكَ هُمُ الْمُهْتَدُونَ We will test you with fear and hunger, shortage of food and souls and shortage also of fruits and crops and give glad tidings to the patient ones. Who are the patient ones? Those who when a calamity befalls them, they say, we truly belong to Allah and we are going back to him subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those upon them, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala send his rahmah, his maghfirah, salah, 
Salah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for us Rahma and maghfirah Ulaika alayhim salawatun min rabbihim Wa rahmah, mercy Wa ulaika humul muhtadun These ones are the really guided ones By Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala So al-bala test when it comes It is coming for a reason And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also in surah al-mulk When he says Tabarak al-lazhi biyadihi al-mulk Wa ala kulli shayin qadir Al-lazhi khalaq al-mawta wal-hayata لِيَبْلُوَكُمْ أَيُّكُمْ أَحْسَنُ عَمَلًا Allah created life and death to test you which among you are those who are coming up with good amal. And the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Sayyidina Muhammad, in many sahih ahadith, in one of them he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, مَا أَصَابَ الْمُؤْمِنُ مِنْ هَمٍّ وَلَا حَزَنٍ وَلَا نَصَبٍ وَلَا وَصَبٍ حَتَّى الشَّوْكَةَ يُشَاكُهَا إِلَّا كَفَّرَ اللَّهُ بِهَا عَنْ خَطَايَةٍ or مِنْ خَطَايَةٍ The Prophet is saying, there is no harm or sickness or loss that befalls the believer, even a pick of a thorn. You are walking and something comes into your feet, something you are cleaning and something comes into your hand. A pick of a thorn. Except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala expiates your sins for that. Subhanallah. Anything that happens to the mu'min. And also another hadith, the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yaqul, لا يزال البلاء في المؤمن أو بالمؤمن في نفسه وولده وماله حتى يلقى الله وما عليه خطيئة سبحان الله The test will continue to happen and to come to the believer in himself or herself their children and their wills until they meet Allah with no single sin سبحان الله So it is a way of forgiving our sins it is a way of getting rahmatullah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is a way of going to jannatullah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we have many examples for those when the calamity befalls them. They say, inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'oon. And they are patient. The best of them is our beloved Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He was tested in his wealth, in his family, in his honor. In each and everything, when he said, Say, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah, they used to love him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Meccans call him as Sadiq al Amin. But once he started saying, Say, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah, they called him names, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They tried to kill him many times. They tried to harass him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and his family, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, many times. But he was always patient. And even when it was very tense, on him in a ta'if after he left Mecca going to a ta'if to find something else good and then the angels come to him and they say Muhammad if you want us to do anything the angel of the mountain is here he can get these mountains together he can kill all of these people what did he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say Allahum mahdi qawmi fa innahum la ya'lamun oh Allah guide my people because they do not know Allah has sent him rahmah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Another example, one famous example, Sayyidina Ayyub alayhi salam, a prophet who have been sick for 18 years. The, the seerah says all of his body was physically under the attack of the disease except his heart and his tongue. Subhanallah. A prophet. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala walks him through that. All his limbs... All his body have all these kinds of disease except his heart and his tongue. And he never complained. And when he started talking about himself, he never ascribed anything bad to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَأَيُّوبَ إِذْ نَادَى رَبَّهُ أَنِّي مَسَّنِيَ أَدْضُرُّ وَأَنْتَ أَرْحَمُ الرَّاحِمِينَ When Ayyub called his Lord, Oh Allah, the harm has touched me. Look at this, touched me. 18 years of disease. And he is saying, the harm has touched me, and you are arhamur rahimin. He didn't say, oh Allah, take it away. But he's saying, oh Allah, you are arhamur rahimin. You are the most merciful. And then another ayah, وَذْكُرْ عَبْدَنَا أَيُّوبَ إِذْ نَادَى رَبَّهُ أَنِّي مَسَّنِيَ الشَّيْطَانُ بِنُصْبٍ وَعَذَابٍ Remember our servant, Ayyub, when he called Abu Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Oh Allah, shaitan has touched me with some adab. Shaitan. So he ascribes evil to the shaitan. And he ascribes good to our Rahman subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
And finally, the story that Sayyidina Abu Hurairah radiallahu anhu mentioned that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, in the people before us, the nations before us, there was three people, or there were three people. One has a skin cancer, and the other one was bald, and the last one was blind. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent an angel to test them. And he came to the one who has a skin cancer, asking him, what do you want in this life? What you want or you wish? He said, I wish to get a good skin and a good health so people do not look at me down because people, when they see me this way, my skin is bad and I don't look good. People don't like me. I want to get a good skin and I'll be in a good health. Then he touched him and he made dua and he became good. He got a very good skin and he becomes very good and healthy. And he asked him, what kind of money you want or you love? He said, I love camels. So he gave him one pregnant camel. And he said, may Allah put barakah in this for you. And he left him. Then he came to the bold one. What do you want most? He said, you know, you can see me, I have no hair. And people look at me in a bad way. I need to get a good hair. Then he put his hand on him. and He made dua and he got a good hair. He said, what do you like most from money? He said, I like cows. So he gave him a pregnant cow and he made dua, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. And he left. And then he came to the last one, the blind man. What do you want? He said, I want my eyesight so I can see people. I can know where I'm going. And then he put his hand on him and he made dua and he became sighted. And he asked him, what kind of money you love? He said, I love sheep and cattle. He gave him one sheep who had a little cub, a little baby. And he made dua and he left. After some time, the same man, which is an angel in a form of a man, he comes in a very poor situation. And he asked the one who had the skin cancer before, my brother, I'm traveling and I have no money. I have no food. Can you please give me one of these camels so I take it and I can go back to my family? He said, man, I have too many debts to pay. I have too many places to attend to. No, I can't. So he told him, aren't you the same person who had the skin cancer? The people look down at you. He said, no, I inherited this form and this beauty from my fathers and my grandfathers. I always look good. So he left him and he went to the second one, which is the bull, the one who was bold. The same thing, my brother, I am sick and traveling and have nothing. Can you please give me one of these cows I can use? He said, I have too many debts to pay. I can't give you anything. He said, aren't you the same one who used to be bold? He said, no man, I, I used to be beautiful all the time. I never been bold. Then he left him and then he went to the one who was blind. He said, my brother, I am traveling. I lost everything. Can you please give me one of these sheep that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to you? The blind man said, you know what? Take whatever you want. I was blind and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given me sight. I was poor. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given me all that. Take whatever you want. Leave whatever you want. Then he said, I am an angel coming from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Your two companions failed the test and you are the one who passed the test. May Allah bless you and your wealth and your money. So, ibtila, tests can be something negative and it can be something also positive. Ni'mah, Allah can give you ni'mah and see, are you going to boast and say, MashaAllah, I have this all the time and are you going to look down at the people when you have the money? Kalla inna al-insana layatugha Sometimes when we get high position, more money, we look down at the people. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us this to test us. So to be going through the doors of Jannah and to go and be eligible for Rahmah and Maghfirah, we have to be patient when the calamity befalls us 
And if something good happens to us, don't think, oh, Allah loves me, he gives me. He doesn't love them, he doesn't give them. No, this is not the criteria. This is for test, and this life is just for some time, and we will leave. So make it matters for you, and make this time a time that will be in your mizan of hasanat. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us in the times of calamities, and we ask him subhanahu wa ta'ala to be with us in the times of ease and happiness. Allahumma ghafir lana ma qaddamna wa ma akharna, ma asralna wa ma a'lanna, ma anta a'lamu bihi minna, anta al-muqaddim wa anta al-makhir wa anta ala kulli shayin qadir. Wa sallallahumma ala sayyidina Muhammad nabi lumi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim. Wa jazakumullahu khayra.